right probably probably this video solves the problem of a lot of people who needs guidance on sre which you probably didn't get right so one another question uh, that i have seen a lot in terms of sre is basically when you when you go through this tree mm-hmm. it's more of uh, theoretical areas right uh, yeah. it, it's not something like software development where you simply give logical problems mm-hmm. data structures problems or something like that it's more revolving around uh, frameworks and actual theoretical concepts correct so correct all over the internet if you see mm-hmm. interview questions on sre they are typically just sort of asking what is xyz what is mm-hmm. uh, aws what is that and they are very generic questions right so in terms of interviews how, what types of interview questions does generally appear in an sre interview round so this is this is a great question sail because uh, for me like when i i started preparing for an sre role right so mm-hmm. as you mentioned like the the questions which are there uh, on the internet are like really basic right there is no uh, why addition to that question right they will ask what is aws and then they'll not ask the sub question for it but mm-hmm. what happens in interviews is that you keep on asking why right like if you're using this technology why right if you're using prometheus why to use prometheus how does it work and and how you kind of build up on questions and you tend to evaluate a certain level of depth of of each and every question right which you are asking uh, in an interview so uh, what what i'd recommend from my end is that how i i went through it is so first of all there are there are a set of basic books right which you could go into okay so like there are, there is a section uh, uh, like specially for learning sre as a concept i'd recommend everyone to go through the site reliability engineering book right mm-hmm. and and see like what it means to be an sre right mm-hmm. and then, then what you can do is like for aws side you can do a udemy course okay and just to get a gist of what what The, these particular sections cover similar mm-hmm. the containers and and tools like there will be resources which would explain uh, each of these right but in order if you want to prepare for your final interview and you want to get a gist of how uh, basically how what kind of questions you can be uh, facing okay so the the true source here is to give interviews right so what you can what you can do is like probably start giving a lot of mock interviews right just just try and giving uh, and and uh, what i'll recommend you here is ki you don't need to focus on a genre of a company like it doesn't need to be fang it doesn't need to be startups right because each and every question each and every company would be solving uh, like one of these problems so you'll get to know uh, a, a lot of new stuff in each of the interviews that you give so it doesn't need to be specific for a particular company which you are targeting or it doesn't need to be specific on the amount of experience that you have right mm-hmm. it just needs to be uh, you getting to know the questions mm-hmm. right and and again like like uh, i'd suggest going through a lot of mock interviews right going through a lot of a lot of youtube videos about these kind of questions or like going through a lot of youtube videos about sre interviews that has uh, that have been done right mm-hmm. for me personally when i was searching for it i go, i went through a lot of blogs but it didn't provide me the information which i went which i which i wanted okay yeah. so I'm just scraping the internet for uh, questions on glass door or, yeah. or questions on 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 some random blogs but for me like the ideal preparation was ki when when i gave a mock interview right or when i when i asked someone who who was in that particular company that how how like what kind of questions can i expect yeah. like, that gave me the best perspective so i i did the same thing when i was interviewing for moving edge right because i have had a set of uh, a set of friends there so i knew like i kind of gauged ki what exactly is the level of interview that would happen there right mm. i asked them ki what kind of questions were you asked right and similarly like when once i went to skyflow right i realized that me as an interviewer would also stick to a certain section of questions and i, I me as an interviewer would have like we have a pattern right like you and me as inter- interviewers we know that we have a pattern right? mm. we ask a certain set of questions which we used to gauge a candidate their response on it 
so mm-hmm. the best way to prepare for that would be to give a mock interview and get get a, a perspective of the interviewer uh, on how uh, a interview would look like mm-hmm. right probably probably this video solves the problem of a lot of people who needs guidance on sre which you probably didn't get right so yeah. and also post sre mock interview videos of replaced so a little uh marketing there of replaced right <laughs> we have posted that yeah. yeah so uh few so i think you have prepared a very nice detailed mm-hmm. mind map uh, mm-hmm. that probably definitely share it to me i'll upload in the Uh, description section right oh, sure. and, and so that people can have a look at it probably we can also add links to different resources okay. uh, that you have been using and uh, that probably will be a really helpful thing for all the people who are uh, preparing mm-hmm.